So this is my Corex boat. Um, I wanted to make this video in case anyone else wanted to uh, try and make a similar thing and hopefully what you see will help you out. Uh, I first want to say thank you to Paul Elkins. He has some amazing YouTube tutorials and uh, templates. Uh, so definitely go and check him out. And I was originally going to have a motor power this boat, but it turned out that it was too expensive. So I ended up making a kind of um, paddle boat inspired mechanism. So you'll see that at the end. This is a test model of the mini speedboat I'm going to make. And it folds like this here. And it folds like this here. Like so. And you have a boat. So we'll see how it goes tomorrow. Okay, so day one of the build. This is the plastic that I'm going to be using. I think it's um, Coroplast. Or it's also called Corex in the UK. It's six millimeter, which is what I'm going to be using for the main boat, and then four millimeter for like the um, like the detail parts. Okay, so first thing I notice, this stuff is very difficult to cut, and I feel like I'm going to go through many of these blades. It's already like super blunted, and I put this down because I was cutting into this which is not cool uh, and it's not straight so I am just making it all square so I can fold it and I'm thinking about using this soldering iron that I have because the dude in the video used a heat gun and then like this rolly thing to make the creases but I don't have that and I'm thinking that this might work so I'll give it a go and it seems like it's best to use the heat gun which my neighbour kindly lent to me and then this little tool which rolls along the seam once it's heated up and then you can kind of bend it like this and this material it seems to burn really easily and I mean it's got this corrugated stuff here and so obviously that's good you want that but um, it's quite hard to keep it on a straight line because it wants to go into the groove kind of thing so yeah I'm gonna try and make this tool a little better. Alright, I got myself a new tool. This one's better because it's much tighter on this rod here. And it seems to be making a nice little crease along here. And I think I may do it on both sides because it seems like it bends better that way, I think. So the first part has been folded. It's looking pretty cool. Let me show you the give me the white shot. It looks kind of weird from this angle, but that's the front of the boat. Tomorrow I'm going to start in the back, I think, but for now I shall leave it. And I'm a bit worried about that because, yeah, it's, the line has gone all the way down and I didn't really want that. But, uh, oh well, we'll see how it goes. So I've now got the back bit done, just folded like so. I need to get the gunwale in and then this bit, fortunately, it's folded here. So, I don't know how that will affect things, but we'll see. Alright, we got a transom sandwich right here. Got it clamped right now. And unfortunately the bolts that I have are too small, so I have to try and buy some new ones, but I don't know if it's possible because all the shops are closed. I also need to make the gunwale, which sits on top of either side of here and attaches the top bit together. And I have this PVC pipe, and I want it to sit um, on or in this, so I want to make like a hole through here so it can slot on top of the plastic and I found that using a soldering iron works pretty well. I can't imagine the fumes are pretty good for one's house but um, it works I suppose. 
Alright, so the burning thing was the fumes were <laughs> pretty horrible, so uh, I'm just using the old elbow grease and, uh, well, ten and saw. Cutting it. But I need to drill little holes um, all the way along so I can attach the, um, I've forgot no name, uh, those things, um, cable ties, that's it, so I can get attached to cable so I can attach the cable ties all the way along and then thread the pipe along. So I'm going to use the drill, punch a few little holes and then... Alright, so day two is finished. I have the gunwales on with cable ties and I have this little wedge to keep it from... Well, it just helps it stay folded. And uh, the gunwale I've not attached yet, but I got some bolts so I can do that tomorrow. So, it's day three of the boat build. I finished this. Um, the transom, so it's sandwiched in between two bits of 8mm ply with M8 bolts and now I have to work on the um, bracing pipes that go across and then I'm going to put the seat in and then we should be able to test it out oh, and I gotta put um, a bunch of uh, duct tape around the corners just to make them a bit stronger using these few safe connectors but I've got to cut a hole through it so it just kind of like clips on there. So before I put an engine on this boat, I want to try rowing it, or at least yeah, using a, a paddle just to see how well it floats and everything. So I've got this and I'm going to use, like it's going to clip onto the side of the boat and that's where the oar is going to go through. Um, and then I've just wrapped this around it so it doesn't like move around so much. So yeah, I mean it does need to look pretty because it's only temporary. Right, I've finished, done, I've finished the boat. I'm gonna take it out this afternoon and see how well it floats. I have uh, the oars that go in here. Yeah! Right, she's coming down. Okay. Alright, so let go. Okay, three, two, one! Yes, Queen! It does! Oh, it good. really works! It's really good. Holy I'm shit. impressed. Wow. Colour me impressed. Oh This idea about powering my boat because I was going to use. Um, I mean, it's too expensive to buy a motor, and um, yeah, originally I had this idea about using two drills on either side with some propeller at the end, but that's also quite expensive. And then I wrote it, but um, I recently had this idea of making this kind of paddle boat mechanism, but powering it with my hands instead. Um, so yeah. I'm going to try this today, I have, and I have loads of PVC pipe left over and I recently bought some new um, fixings or connectors and uh, yeah, here's like the, the close up and I'm going to make it all so these bits turn um, independently of the mechanism so when you're like using it it's easier on your hands and then the central bit, central of it will also move so, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Alright, so I've got to sand the insides of these so the pole fits through and it slides nice and easily. So, it was taking ages. I put this spindle on my drill and uh, holding it down while it's spinning and it uh, speeds up the process. Alright, so I've got the paddle, or one of the paddles, 
and oh, I need two hands for this. Just slots inside here. And I have this. It does not look like much now, but it is the makings of the how do I get mechanism? Just gonna make seven more of these. And uh, oh yeah, I just use the um, turn and saw to cut this sort of. So yeah. This is what it looks like before it's all glued together. And then hopefully yeah, it'll work. <laughs> is it is it broken already? No, the only thing I didn't glue was this bit. Come back in, you're alright. Do you want to come to work as well? <laughs> so I finished the paddles. I took it out yesterday, but this bit here is a weak point because it snapped. And I didn't glue it because I wanted it to be detachable so I could store it better, but it seems like the cable ties that I bought are not strong enough, so I'm just going to glue it, I think. And then I'm going to glue these end bits on as well. Uh, so yeah, but it, it worked. It worked quite well. I just need to uh, fix this a little bit.